Hi everybody, welcome back to the Premier Guns YouTube channel. We are going to kickstart our New Year, if you like, reviews off with um, a limited edition that's just landed from, from Miraku. And we, a couple of months ago, we did the Miraku MK38 Grade 3 Limited Edition Sporter. So today we've got the trap version. So I want to talk to you about largely about the differences um, the application for the trap gun over the sport and who I think it might suit and of course we'll give you a little bit of the Miraku history some specifications along the way and just try and educate you as I normally try and do in these reviews. Just going back to this sporter video the MK38 Grade 3 was largely available in the Miraku range for a number of years. Came out about um, from memory about 1995 uh, when they when they first launched the um, the Miracu MK38 and it was sort of sat smack in the middle of the one and the five the one was very very basic board basic engraving you knew what you get in but the mechanics were all the same it just worked and with the five obviously you got a much higher grade ward better engraving dropper points etc because it was sort of the, the top of the tree they bought the grade three out, sit in the middle, you know, nice quality woodwork, nice quality engraving for someone who wanted a bit more than a one, but couldn't quite stretch to a five. And in essence, that is exactly what it is. So the grade three disappeared from the range, um, certainly in sporting, back in about 2013 or 14. And as I've said in the video for the sporter, for me, it was just simply a case of, if you got a really good grade three, there was no point in buying a grade five. And if you didn't get a grade three, you may as well just stick with a grade one. And that is the, the case with obviously with a halfway house when you're producing a specification of shotgun that fits directly in the middle of a high grade one and a low grade one. So we've just received the trap guns, which we're very excited about. Again, um, these guns are bulletproof. We sell so many MK38s. You know, the, the hits we've had off the videos we've done for these models worldwide have been incredible. You know, we're in the process of exporting several to different countries. So as I've said before, it is not a problem to get one of these to you if you live in Canada, America, Australia, New Zealand, any of the European countries, get in touch and we will do what we can to get one out there to you. So as per the sporter, we've got one here. Um, the Grade 3 has this kind of foliate engraving it's quite sort of floral and i really really like it i mean when i was unboxing um some of these guns the other day a customer actually turned around and said he said i've never seen one of those i actually prefer it to the grade five i think the grade five is a little bit over the top so again with everything to do with in life not just shotguns it is down to personal preference i am a fan of the grade three i think it looks really really good Going back before this model, we had the Miracu 3800, and again, the engraving on that on the Grade 3 was really quite something special for the cost of the gun. So this is the MK38 Grade 3 Limited Edition Trap Gun. So the, the bones of it are exactly the same as any MK38 Trap Gun. However, as we've talked about recently in a video, um, due to the issues with uh, non well with, with lead and um, <coughs> Certainly in the UK, we are looking at lead bands, etc. Miraku and Browning now largely do not manufacture fixed joke guns because there is no point because of everyone having to use or looking to have to potentially use um, non-toxic alternatives. So they are now all multi-choke. Now what that does for me is it makes a gun that was already very, very popular, the MK38 trap gun, just makes it so, so much more versatile. And to be fair, the majority of people I would think that will buy these will be all round shooters or just sporting shooters because of the difference in the height of the comb, the stop dimensions, uh, et cetera, the four, and just, just being more preferable to their to their sort of application. So we've got these in 30 and 32 inch, 18.7 um, bore, so it's standard browning backboard tackle with Invector Plus chokes. Now these guns come with four extended Teague chokes as with the sporters, like I said, this is a this is not really a, a comparison video. It's nothing new essentially. It is just the next thing from the sporter. So we cover uh, you know everybody's needs and give them different options in terms of the specification of these two guns. So Invector Plus jokes, HP steel shot proof. So if we look on the um, the barrels, we'll find that the fleur de lis and the CIP stamp when it was proofed in Belgium. Like I said, with the sport, a nice little touch, you get these wooden cleats where the four ends fit on the barrel, 
which is it like I say is very very nice just fits a little bit tighter a little bit neater than maybe maybe a grade one that hasn't got them really really nicely blued barrels you know brown in for one miracu the the gloss barrels that they do I did say in a previous video I wasn't a fan of some of the matte finishes particularly on that excess um, black laminate they've just brought out but from a traditional point of view the bluing is always of a good quality so very very nice there okay so we've got this in 30 32 inch um, and like I said, with it being a grade three, there's just a few bits and pieces over the top of a grade one. You get things like the, the engraved barrel wings, which is a nice little touch. So the foliot engraving, the car fences, it, it is nice. Uh, adjustable trigger. And again, the balance on these guns does vary and it's usually down to the density of the wood. So I've got here a 30 inch grade three trap, which I've weighed, I think eight pound nine ounces. So not you know not light enough to be a bit whippy because we in the past we've had a few of the grade ones where they've been sort of sub eight pound which personally i think is a bit light for trap shooting but the balance out of the box is pretty good okay pretty much on the hinge pin that's with the extended chokes and so if you wanted a gun that was a bit more stock heavy just by changing the chokes and reducing the weight at the muzzle end you could you could achieve that so moving on to the woodwork like i said with the sporter in the sporting video this um this is not the first miracu trap gun to have a factory adjustable comb because previously you could buy a grade one or a grade five mk38 with a factory adjustable comb However, it wasn't a really a Miracu designed stock. It was actually a stock of the Browning Ultra range from the XT. So what that meant was, it meant that it was quite fat in the pistol grip, uh, it was longer, and it also came with a slightly different forend configuration. Now the good thing about these ones is they've used the same system as they use in the Ultra XS Pro and the, the, the Grade 3 Limited Edition um, 525 and MK38 which means that the stock is nice and slim. A lot of people don't want a really big palm swell like you used to get on the original factory adjustables. That's my opinion, that's how I feel. You know, I've not got particularly great big hands and I think that the, the standard grip of an MK38 feels absolutely lovely. Stock dimensions. So with a trap gun, naturally they are designed to shoot higher, so the stock will be higher than a, a, um, a comparable sporter. So. Typically with a Miracle MK38, you would have a drop at comb of 35 mil and a drop at heel of 55 mil, and that's on a sporter. The difference with the trap gun is there's about 10 mil difference. So for a start off, there's less drop. So we're looking at 34, 44. The other good thing with this over the old style um, MK38 factory adjustable Ultra XT stock, whatever you want to call it, is it does start off higher. So I had a go with one of these of the day with the Allen key and see what it goes up to. And it, you can get a real good bit of height out of this. So even for a really tall bloke um, with a long neck, I, I would imagine we can get these to fit most people. Now there is a downside to that, and we've spoken about this before about Miracu trap guns, is if you are a great tall giant, they are quite short in the stock. So standard sporter is 15 inches, and uh, I should really start talking in different measurements as well for some of our export client because they don't quite understand inches so I'm going to do that from now on I'll do it in millimeters which is about 380 ish millimeters um, whereas the the trap gun is about half an inch 12 13 millimeters shorter but in addition they do use this great big chunky trap recoil pad which is absolutely fine for its application as a trap gun however for a sporter it's a little bit snaggy so if I was going to use one of these for sporting I would look at a kicky sporting pad or trying to graft maybe a standard MK38 sporter pad onto the back end. However, I doubt it would fit because trap socks tend to be fatter in the circumference, so we'll probably have to look at something like a kickies. Interestingly enough, they've used a black recoil pad. Now, all of their MK38s come with a brown one, so everyone will be used to seeing a brown one. Um, I haven't made my mind up whether I like it or not because I do quite like the brown one, the sort of tannish colour but it's exactly the same uh, in terms of the profile of it. It's got this, this curve in it, which is designed to just sit in the shoulder for trap shooting, which is a, um, a gun up discipline. Woodwork is grade three stroke four 
um, American Walnut. Now I have to say, my initial um, thought was when I unboxed a couple of these trap guns, that the wood wasn't quite as good as the sporters. You know, I've got one here in particular, which although it's not a grade one, it is quite plain, uh, which I wasn't too thrilled about. But at the same time, the difference is with the grade one, because they have that kind of lacquered finish, um, it does look a bit, I'll use the word plasticky, whereas these, with it having a proper oil finish, it does it does elevate itself to the grade of the gun, if that makes any sense, and it does it is suitable for a grade three. Checker in. Standard double point, which we all love. Feels really good in the hand. Again, it's got an adjustable trigger, which previously you did not get on an MK38 trap gun. It was always a fixed trigger. The new ones that are available now in grade one and grade five are still a fixed trigger, which is the, um, the, the quite far back trap trigger position. Fore end on the trap guns is a beaver tail, which again, on a sporting gun, a lot, a lot of people like these. I've said it time and time again, we carry a large uh, range of MK38 Miracles in stock with beaver tail four ends. People like them. We actually carry the four ends additionally to put them on a sporter if they don't like the schnabel. And um, barrels wise, so this one's a 30 inch Teague extended chokes. The barrel is the same pretty much as the sporter. It's got a 10 mil parallel rib with a centre bead and a tram line. Um, so we've talked about the the stock dimensions, the grip. Is interesting because I compared this to a standard MK38 trap gun. This is more swept back like a sporter. The radius of a trap gun is a little bit, I don't know, maybe 10 millimeters tighter. So again, when we talk about um, a good sort of crossover gun, this makes this for me even more suitable for sporting because the hand position is really good. You've got the adjustable stock. It balances on the hinge pin. It's multi-choke. And let's not forget, if you wanted to use this for game, no problem at all. Really good bit of weight to absorb all the recoil. The only thing you might look at is potentially purchasing some flush chokes or we could supply it with flush chokes. So from a from a aesthetic point of view, it doesn't look quite like a clay gun when you're out on the ground, on the, uh, in the field. So again, as with the Sporter, I keep referring to the Sporter, but this is, you know, this is the, just a different gun for a different purpose with the same features. We get the, the Miracu ABS case, which Miracu owners will know in the UK certainly. For years and years and years we've had cardboard boxes um, because Brownings have come in the cases and Miracu, which has always kind of been purported to be the poorer cousin in the UK, you've had to put it with a cardboard box. Not anymore. So this is a, a box fresh gun in here. Okay, so you've got quite a nice piece of grade three straight four American wall there. Uh, and in here you've got your Allen key for your adjustable comb, which I will just show you how that adjusts in a second. And you've got your Teague chokes along with your Teague choke key. So again, from an all-rounder point of view, had you bought a, um, a if you bought an MK38 trap gun in their fixed choke um, variety, it would be three quarter full. These come with quarter half, three quarter and full. Um, just to elaborate on that, we've got improved cylinder, modified, improved modified, and full. So, with the adjustable comb, it is a doddle. Like I say, the Allen key goes straight through the back. Just find that. Slacken it off a bit. Move the comb up. And go left and right and up and down. Make sure you slacken it all the way off. And like I said, you can get a good bit of height off that. You know, the, um, they don't come with the spacers, like you get with something like an Ultra Access Pro, but you can purchase the spacers should you want to. In my experience, you don't really need it because if you tighten the, um, the grub scrub in the back nice and tight, there's no problem. Like I said, if I mount that gun now and I shoot quite high stock, that is probably actually too high for me. So I think this is gonna do a lot of things for a lot of people. It's very universal as a trap gun for ABT, down the line, whatever. But certainly from a sporting point of view, if I was given the choice just because of the stock dimensions, I would go for the trap 
over the sporter. And that, in essence, is it. All I do want to talk about before we finish is for those people that are not quite aware about the difference between a trap and a sporter in terms of stop dimensions, because that is the key point. We're always talking about gum fit, suitability, etc. So what I've got is I've got a sporter here just to show you the difference. And just have a look at the, the drop at comb, the drop at heel, how parallel the comb is on the trap gun, and also the variation in the length. That is it, to be honest with you. So just to summarize, MK38 grade three trap, limited edition. These are available in very, very few numbers. Um, we've already exported, or in the process of exporting a few of those. Like I said, there is a there is a process with the export of a shotgun. It does take a bit of time, but it is no problem at all. Very achievable. We do it on a, on a daily basis. So if you would like any more information about these guns, please do get in touch, like and comment below. And just to finish on before I forget, if you are left-handed, okay, because the um, the comb is ambidextrous, the holes are in the, the holes in the back rather than on the side. Because there is no palms, well, like the previous adjustable MK38 models, and because Miracus have very very little cast, this will be absolutely fine for a left-handed shooter. You can adjust the comb accordingly to put a degree of cast on it, and there will be no problem whatsoever. So these. This is really is a very, very universal and a very ambidextrous shotgun. That's a wrap. MK38 Grade 3 Trap. Get in touch. Tell us what you need. Tell us what you like. Tell us what you don't. And we'll see you again soon. Thanks.